What's going on, guys? Your boy Joey672 coming to you guys with a video right now. I want to go over the fourth round cornerback the Eagles have drafted, Zach McPherson. Um, Zach McPherson is a versatile cornerback, okay? He's what, 5'11, 191 pounds. So obviously not the biggest corner either, uh, but can play inside, outside, and you can move him around. Uh, he is he can play man to man, he can play zone. Obviously, it's a fourth round corner. He's got flaws. So He's not really that great on, um, obviously because of his size, he's not really that great on covering big receivers. I think that's one problem. But obviously when you draft him in the fourth round, you know, he can come in and and hopefully Jonathan Gann, if you guys didn't know, Jonathan Gann was the cornerback coach. Um, you know, now that our defensive coordinator, he was a cornerback coach for the Colts and he developed corners really well over there. Turn Xavier Rhodes' career around at 30 years old. I mean, he did a really good job. Um, I think that's one good thing I take out of Jonathan Gannon and obviously he makes this defense very exciting. Okay, so obviously 5'11", 191 pounds, if I didn't say that before, uh, with him, um, a lot of good things to take out of it. So we can go with his stats real fast, uh, 100, 104 tackles, 15 pass breakups, 4 interceptions, um, plays on special teams, uh, very good special teamer as well, so that's a good thing. I think he ran a 4.5 in the 40-yard Um and I think he was ranked, what, the 100th? He was ranked in the top 100 as the best best corners in this draft. I think he was the 16th, uh, no, the 18th best uh, corner taken in this draft. Really, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. This is going to be like a wait-and-see approach. Obviously, I'm hoping they take, get some undrafted corners to come to the Philadelphia Eagles to compete with Zach McPherson and see, you know, if they could beat him out if that's the case. But Zach McPherson, he's not a bad player, he, and he's not the most fantastic player we've seen. But I think, you know, we need an offseason. We need camp. We need preseason games. I want to see how this kid moves. And, you know, he's 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 good in coverage. His coverage isn't that bad at all. I think you know, Jonathan Gann just needs to work with him a little bit, develop him a little bit to his strengths, and really see what he's all about. Um, so this is obviously a big question mark for me um, because – I thought in the second round we would have picked up a corner. That's what I would have done. Obviously, if we didn't go after JOK, uh, linebacker from Notre Dame, I think we should have at least took a shot on a cornerback. We passed up on a lot of corners in this draft, and obviously we're going to have a couple undrafted ones. I'll have a video on that separately on the undrafted free agents uh, when that comes out and it's fully done and talk about that. But Zach McPherson has a very big chance to start um, in this defense. And that, that is if they don't go after a free agent. If they feel they have to go after a free agent like Steven Nelson, that's actually still out there right now. A, a really good solid coverage corner that came from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay. Um, he played opposite side of Joe Hayden for the Steelers for a few years and played pretty well. Actually, a very solid corner. Obviously, he's waiting to get signed, and hopefully the Eagles do pick him up if they feel that the cornerback position isn't strong. But at the same time, they could have drafted a corner in the second round, at least. I mean, at least the third round, they could have done something uh, because they let a lot of corners off. off in it. You know, they, they passed up on a lot of guys, and I'm hoping that, you know, maybe McPherson will work out. I don't know. This is a wait-and-see approach, guys. Let me know in the comment section what, below what you guys think of Zach McPherson, what he brings to the table. And if anybody knows him very well and wants to, you know, you know, shed some light on what he could do and maybe some good things, bad things. I mean, I've been, I think he's a pretty balanced corner. I just obviously think he needs some developing. Um, and you never know with these picks, they could turn out to be great or they could turn out to be really bad. So um, you're, when, you know, when you draft somebody in the fourth round, you're looking for a role player that plays well in a system. Um, so hopefully this is a player that works well more in a system than, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, we'll see what happens when the time does come. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Zach McPherson, will he work out? We will see, but uh, very excited to add in more young talent to the secondary and compete um, this offseason. So other than that, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Shakes going up, follow us fly. Peace out, guys. Peace.